When I was 22 in 2012, I was involved in an electrical accident at work, which resulted in an amputation of my right hand. Music and drums was my passion. When I lost my arm, I was very negative about things, just thinking about what I couldn't do. But after the first month, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna pull my drum kit out of storage, tape the drumstick to my arm, and proceeded to play it. That was a turning point for me. It was letting me know that it was possible. My current prosthetic is what you call a body-powered prosthetic. It just uses basic mechanics. I use a lot of my shoulder and elbow to kind of exaggerate to get the hits that I want. It also has limitations on how fast I can play. Like, that feels like it might be a little too slow. Yeah, it's a weird one. I, uh... So I had an idea of developing a robotic drumming prosthetic, and I knew Gil Weinberg was the right person to reach out to. I understood immediately what he wanted. He wanted to sense more of his muscles and be able to control the bounce of the drumstick. I was a little worried. Can we provide him with what he wanted in terms of the latency and the control? We didn't know that it's possible. Now, it's not a big problem when you want to grab a cup, so you wait a few milliseconds. But when you play music, you need to immediately hear the sounds that you play. And that's where we looked at all kinds of different motors, and TensorFlow was perfect for this project. So we basically use TensorFlow as a tool for the deep learning trainings based on the data we collected through the EMG sensors. We need to see what kind of electrical activity happens when he's moving his arm in different ways. And then through the TensorFlow Lite, which is actually a more efficient tool to use, we can apply that to the Raspberry Pi, a small device that is implemented as a general counsel. And the TensorFlow model will actually predict Jason's gesture based on how he moves his muscles. TensorFlow Lite provided us with exactly what we needed, much more streamlined, faster. It also reduces the latency. The latency, is, it's like none. That's awesome. Usually in university labs, you make prototypes that can just symbol what can be done. And I think, finger crossed, that this arm is going to last for years just like a product. I can actually feel the feedback from the arm, and it feels as close to a real hand as you can get without it actually being a real hand. The possibilities of this kind of technology with TensorFlow and everything combined, you could make almost anything you can think of.